Hi guys, my name is Mariam and I'm NASA Space Apps Challenge 2020 Ambassador. I'm currently doing my MBA with focus on data analytics and fashion technology and innovation. I believe in the power of stories and data visualization in shaping our lives and the world. This is why I'm super excited to share with you in this video an introduction to data visualization. I'll be talking about what is data visualization, five qualities of great visualizations, types of visualizations, and we will have a mini tutorial at the end. According to Alberto Cairo, who is a pioneer in this field, data visualization is a display of data designed to enable us to analyze, explore, and discover. Is data visualization something new? Absolutely not. Humans have been using diagrams and maps since a very long time ago to deliver information in a simple way. In this map, Jon Snow, not, not Jon Snow of Game of Thrones, but another Jon Snow who was an English physician back in the 80s, he used small bar graphs on city blocks to mark the number of cholera deaths at each household in a London neighborhood. And as you can see here, that there's a cluster of cholera cases next to this water pump. The success, about, the success of this map lies in pointing out the relationship between getting sick and drinking from the same water source. It suggested that the solution should be coming up with a new sewage system and having water wells that are not contaminated. So this visualization literally changed the world, and yours can also do. In order to understand the importance of data visualization, we need to understand our brain. Our brain is always looking for patterns. It detects patterns, and it digests stories faster than many other things. And this is what data visualization offers us. In his book, The Truthful Art, Alberto Cairo mentions five qualities of great visualizations. They are truthful, functional, beautiful, insightful, and enlightening. It's very important to consider truthful, especially when you're cleaning your data, which variables to keep and which variables to delete. Is it going to change your story? Here's an example of a visualization. You get to decide if it's a great one or not because now you know the five qualities. In this visualization, Disney screenplay dialogue is broken down by gender and we can see clear gender disparity. And here we see the daily routines of famous creative people. It seems that Franz Kafka and Pablo Picasso are night owls. You also can create great data visual visualizations. You can use histograms to visualize the distribution of quantitative data with ranges of this data grouped into time intervals. So here we can see the number of items um, delivered from one to five days, the frequency from one to five days to over 35 days. And you can use bar chart to plot categorical data. Here we see the number of COVID cases in US states. New York has the highest. And you can use line chart to track changes over a period of time. As we see here, the US, in the US, the number of COVID cases, they increased rapidly from March 15 to March 29. And maps to analyze and display geographically related data, and it can be super interactive. You can also use art. Here in this visual data visualization, we can see the symptoms of coronavirus in a very simple way, visualized by Mona Shalabi, who is one of my favorite artists. Okay, now let's have a tutorial. So I downloaded this Excel sheet dataset from online and it's COVID-19 geographic distribution worldwide. Now let's explore this dataset. You can, you can explore the dataset and visualize it on Excel, but honestly, I love using uh, Tableau software. It's easy to use and it's interactive. And oh, if you are a student, you can have a one year free trial. So let's import our file. 
here I'm importing our uh, the Excel file. Open. So Tableau shows us the variables and the content of our data set. We can also change, rename some of the variables. We can hide them. In the dimensions, we will see all the categorical da data and in measures, we, th we see the quantitative ones. So what do we want to explore? Let's explore per continent the number of cases, COVID-19 cases. So I will place my content here in rows. We have Africa, America, we can see now our contents, continents, sorry. And then we see the cases. So it seems that America has the highest number of cases than Europe. What about death? So we place the death here next to cases. Okay, so Europe has higher number of death than America. In Tableau, we can change the color. Colors are very important in data visualization. So I will assign the red palette. What if we want to see the label, like the numbers? So we can right click, choose all show mark label. Or, and we can see it like that. Let's explore another thing. Let's explore countries, the number of deaths per countries. Measure. And I want to see from highest to lowest, so I'm going to sort them. So the USA, United USA, it has the highest, then UK, Italy, France. So we have we first had like this Excel sheet, and now we have beautiful visuals. Believing is saying this is is seeing, believing, seeing. Sorry, seeing is believing. So this is why data visualization it's very important. And we can keep exploring things. So now it's your turn to explore a data set and share your story with the world. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me and stay healthy, everyone.